welcome back. So I'm going to pop my gloves on. I am going to go again with the Valentine's Day colours, black, red and gold. But for this pour, instead of doing the Liquitex Basics as I said I was going, as I did in the last one, I'm going to use the Global. So, uh, metallic gold, cool red, we can't even see that anymore, it's an old, old jar, it's all dented, I need to get some new jars. Cool red and some black. So, same pouring medium as the last one. 60% glue, 30% water, 10% Floetrol, or 6 ounces, 3 ounces, 1 ounce, 600 mils, 300 mils, 100 mils, however you want to measure it. Okay, um, so I have got, for the black, 100 grams of pouring medium and 100 grams of paint, and a little drizzle of water because it was a bit thick. The Cool Red, I don't know what Global are doing at the moment. They seem to be changing their paints around. Normally this is really, really thick paint, but today it's not. So 100 grams of pouring medium, 100 grams of paint. I'll jump up the ladder and show you that consistency. There's a mound, a little wriggle on top. Leaves a ribbon when you do that. A little mound, quite a big mound, a mound on a mound. So that's that one. So that one is 100 grams of pouring medium and 100 grams of paint. And my gold, well, metallics, they're trouble children, aren't they? This one, it's got a blob of something in it. This one I actually mixed much thicker. I had two parts paint to one part pouring medium. So it has got, oh, what did I do? I can't remember. 50 grams of pouring medium to 100 grams of paint, I think it was, something like that double the amount of paint because it's such a, a thin paint. Okay, and for cells, treadmill silicone. So, um, what did I say? 200 grams I've got in there. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So it's going to need about six drops in these two and maybe five in this one. So, roughly, one, two, three, four, five, roughly one drop per ounce or one drop per three. 30 grams of mixed paint, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think seven ripped into that just as I was taking it away. That's okay. Give it a good stir in. I don't want any big blobs of silicone that stretch out and become a worm. So good stir. My gold feels so much thicker than the other paints, but it has to be like that. Otherwise, you just lose them. They go all watery and you don't see them. They sink to the bottom. All right, let's get to layering. Uh, just two big cups, 30 by 40 centimetre canvas, 12 by 16 inch. These are 540 mil cups. But um, I've got 200 grams, 200 grams, 200 grams, so roughly 600 grams of mixed paint for this size. And I'm just going to do this because it's a big cup. It's got a long way get down to go. It's just easier and faster. Now the gold's not going to look very nice straight after the pour because it's, you know, wet um, and it's mixed with the other colours and not really going to see the, um, the final outcome of how bright and shiny the gold's going to be and, until it's dry. So 
take that into consideration when the pour's done and I'll show you the dry pour later on in one of my coming videos. I was going to show you some dry ones before I did this. I'll do this and then I'll show you some of my swipes that are dry. Yeah, I'll do this and I'll just move the paint away and then I'll show you. Some more black. I'm just not sure how much black I'm going to need. Black tends to really take over, so I hope I haven't got too much in here. If I have, woohoo, I just have to do another painting, don't I, with less black. With the Liquitex Basics one that I just did, I only used half the amount of black as I did to the other colours, so I didn't do that with this one. Maybe I should have. I, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens, eh? I won't put any more in there. Um, I'll just thin out the little bit of black that's left and uh, I can use it for my corners. But I'm hoping I'll have enough. 600 grams of mixed paint should be ample for this size little canvas. And I don't mind going again with the Global because it's so much cheaper than the Liquitex Basics. And I think I've come to the conclusion that using the, the um, Global is really good and then maybe just adding in either a black or a white for the Liquitex Basics just to help with the... Um, the rings on the cells but not use all Liquitex Basics in a pour. I think I've come to that conclusion because that last one, the global one, I just, uh, the Liquitex Basics one in, in Valentine's colours, I just don't think that that was one of my better pours. Right, leave that there in the corner. Now, um, I'll move these out of the way as well and I'll show you some of my dry swipes quickly. One fell behind the cabinet and I can't get it out. <laughs> I'll have to show you that one later. It's probably my favourite one too. I'll get it out later. Right, that was one of them. So nice and dry now. My pores really don't change from when I, I pour them to when I show you the dry painting. Really hasn't changed that much. So that's it there. That was the peach and the blues and the turquoise with the uh, black swipe. And then... I'm not sure if I showed you this blue one. Maybe I did. I can't remember. Did I show you the blue swipe? That's it there. It's really pretty too. Love swipes. I love these tiny little little ones here, little tiny cells. Gorgeous. Um, what else did I show you? Oh, did I show you my push and pull? I don't know if I've shown you push and pull. The, where I had a lot of white behind the cup and I pushed the white the cup into the white and then tilt tilted it back and then dragged that white down over it. So that one's done, nice and dry. And what else, what else can I show you? Oh, yeah, this one that I didn't really like, that I swiped with the navy. So I haven't got much navy that's come down and fallen down around those cells. So that was because the navy's um, transparent colour. So that was that swipe too. All right, that'll do for now, eh? Oh, and next time I can show you the Rocky River and Rocky Mountain. Yeah, I'll show you those next time. Right, so I've poured from this side, so I might turn that one that way. And I've poured from that side, so let's turn that one that way, just to see if that makes any difference in the way that the paint comes out. Not sure. Whoa. Okay. I've got my torch ready. I've got my corner catcher ready if I need it. Just a bit of cardboard that I cut up. I've got my little tool ready. All set to go. Waiting for those paints to come down. Please be pretty. 
feels like it's been ages since I've done a um, flip cup. Hmm. But I had a class on the weekend. Uh, today's Sunday, so yesterday I had a, had a pouring workshop and it was specialising in swipes. And uh, the ladies, we had all girls again, and they did such an amazing job. I should show you all their work one at a time. I'll have to wait till I've moved all the stuff out of the way. In another video, I'm sure they won't mind. I'll show you all their swipes that they did. Okay, let's do this. Ooh. Oh, pretty, pretty. Make sure you run your first bit off because it's going to be a little bit um, kind of blobby and I want lines so I always try to pull the first little bit off. There we go. That looks good. I've got cells already which means it's a little bit on the thin side. Or it just could be the fact that I've got the metallic in there. But no worms. Woohoo! I like it when there's no worms. Light torching. Pops and bubbles. Behave. Torch. I'll put you back in the cupboard. My new torch. Look how clean it is, relatively clean and shiny from Bunnings, from that middle section where they have all the um, power tools. And I like the one that's got this turny thing on the back. I've tried a few different ones and this one seems to be the strongest. It doesn't break as easily. Okay. This is gorgeous. Big block of gold there. I wonder if the gold is a transparent. Uh, no, it says semi-transparent on the bottle. These are really pretty. They, they have um, red cells inside gold rings. I'm just going to torch a bit here. into that gold up the top there. See if I can get anything else to come up. Oh, I'm sagging again. I'm going to need something under these canvases. Oh, be the death of me, these canvases. What if that'll fit? Well, that's going to be too high. No, that's too high. I can see it bulging. I need to get something smaller. Um, I'll just cut the end off that and so it's only double thickness instead of triple thickness and then that should hopefully do. Should be alright. Great these puppy piddle pads, you can cut them down to whatever size you want. Right, let's try that. How's that looking? I don't know if that's enough now. Too thick, too thin. Let me just open it up and kind of put some air in there. Oh, I'm getting paint everywhere. That was intelligent, Julie. My goodness. Having a blonde moment. All right, pop it there. That'll do. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to tilting, hey? We've got less to cover there, so let's do there. I don't know if I'm just happy with this underneath. Let's see what happens. Once I've taken the majority of the paint off the canvas, it won't be so noticeable. It won't sag so much.
This is just beautiful on this side. I don't want to lose that at all. Let's keep you because you are so pretty. Yes, you are. Come back. Righty. Oh, now I better get this side done next. It's a bit of a shame that big gold strip there hasn't got any cells in it. sure if it's too dark. I think it's a bit too dark. These edges here are really quite dark, aren't they? Where I've added that extra paint on. So I'm doing the corners first before I let too much paint run over the, the edge here because I don't want my cells to all stretch out of shape. I've discovered that if I do my edges and corners first and then I can just quickly pop that over and I don't lose my cells don't stretch too much this one's going to stretch because it's half over so let's just get rid of him he was just going to be a big cell because he's half over anyway so of course he has to stretch okay mm, it is a little dark isn't it maybe I should have reduced my black like I did in the, the last pull she might go this way because the weight of the paints already on this side of the canvas so I might as well take advantage of that and go to this side first now I'm gonna to have to hold underneath here hold on to my little push pin or my giant push pin I should say so I don't touch the side of the canvas Just touch that corner and come back. Okay, that's that one done. Right. Three down, one to go. Bring the weight back to the middle. And I can go down to this corner here. organized hold on to my push pin under here don't go over the edge yet towards you let's do the corner first and it's done come back I don't mind a little bit of that going over so it can go over bring the weight back so I can straighten up my line so I like my line straight and now wash my hands now I should be able to just go straight down this little bit here but and I haven't overstretched up here either which is good just help that along there wet that canvas sure the weight of the paint is where you want it to go and back woohoo we're done let's bring it all back to the center a little bit check your composition make sure it's how you want it to be it's 
So as I said, the gold really doesn't look very nice at this stage of the game. We'll have to wait for it to dry. And um, yeah, it's a little bit thinner than I would have liked maybe. Tilt a little bit that way. See if I can bring some of this red down. It just seems a bit dark there to me, a little bit blurry. So I'll just see if I can take a little bit of that paint off. If I can't, then I won't worry too much. There we go, that's a little bit off, and then I'll come back again. And the other thing I want to do is I'd like to stretch out this middle bit here with those little red cells. Loving this corner up here. Now let me see if I can get my hand under there and open that up a bit. A little bit, not much. My goodness, it's messy. It did feel a little bit thin. That mix seems a little bit thin. My colours aren't as bright. They're a little bit muted. Um, just, yes, yeah, doesn't seem to be as bright as I was hoping for. I just want to put this on top. I'm still not getting the dipping just a touch. Yeah, that's better. That is better. Now, I won't torch. Let me check my corners. I didn't need any of that extra black that I had. Let's so run that under there. I'll grab my other the Liquitex Basics one. It's over here on the shelf. Oh, that's no good. That's too light. A bit of dark bit there, and uh, I'll show you the difference. Just fixing those up, and my fingers have touched them, touched on the corners. And I do think this is a little too black. Don't you agree? Here. I just need to wipe the sides before I put it over the top because it's still dripping. And knowing my luck, it will drip straight into a fresh pour. So that's the Liquitex Basics one. Cells are bigger, more wobblier, even though I made it really, really thick. And then that's the global. So, yeah. Alrighty. Oh my goodness, this is such a messy pour. It's always messy when you're using black. And now I've stood in paint and cleaned my foot. <laughs> when I was carrying it over, it dripped on the floor and then of course I had to stand in it, didn't I? Right, let's take you in for a close-up. Which do you prefer? The gold in here looks quite sort of yellowy orange at the moment, but once it's dried, um, I think it'll be really pretty. But as far as the cells and the composition go, I really like this one. I haven't overstretched anything. These are really pretty cells down here in the corner. 
And there's that corner. Bit of gold band through the middle there. And then bottom corner. So there we go. Another Valentine's paw. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a go at these colours. And uh, put your photos up on the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group under the Valentine's Day Challenge. Red, black and gold. And uh, we can chat there. I'd love to see them. Okay, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.